love this song. It's perfect. Perfect for our theme here. Louis yes. Children's Hospital is teaming up with Project Adam to bring life-saving skills to more people. Their mission to save lives by better preparing you for sudden cardiac events with HeartSafe CPR. Now joining us now to share what this initiative is all about is Jacqueline Ryder, coordinator for Project Adam. Jacqueline, thanks so much for being with us. Of course, thank you so much for having me. Okay, this is such an important topic. Um, actually, Sarah and I are both due for a refresher, but okay. first tell us so what... So glad you're here. Yeah, <laughs> tell us what Project <laughs> Adam is all about. Wow. Yes, happy to be here. So Project Adam is a national non-for-profit organization. We help schools become better prepared for a sudden cardiac arrest by helping them become heart safe designated. Okay. So we go into the schools, we help them learn CPR if they need it, how to use AED, make sure there's a cardiac emergency action plan in place, and that the school is practicing drills and making sure that they're prepared. Wow, so how does a school, if they're interested, get involved in this? Yes, so Lurie Children's is one of the affiliate sites, so we okay. help manage the state of Illinois. Um, so if you're interested in having your school become heart safe, then definitely reach out to us. You can find us at projectadam.com or email us at Lur uh, projectadam at luriechildrens.org. Well, Sarah and I were talking the last time that we did CPR, took a class, it was all about sort of, you had to learn, you know, the mouth to mouth part as right. well as the, the you the know, combo. The, yeah. yeah, so yeah. yes. So you're saying it's hands only now? So you could or definitely that's an do option. both. So that yeah. is now another layer okay. yeah. option. So it definitely makes it more accessible and very easy to mm -hmm. learn. Anyone could do it. You do not need any medical background. Okay. Um, so hands-only CPR is just doing compressions, pushing fast and hard on the chest, and hopefully getting an AED as fast as you can before EMS arrives. Do you want to show us your method then? This, that you yeah, teach us. Yeah, exactly. That's what I am exactly. the stand a live song, and that's right. they always say that's the rhythm, right? Yes, right. exactly. Okay. About 100 okay. to 120 beats per yeah. minute is how fast you want to do it. So okay. if someone is suddenly collapses and unresponsive. Johnny, Johnny, you want to make sure that they're okay. Have okay. someone call 911, get the AED. Yeah, okay. And while that's happening, if you know how to check for a pulse, quickly check for a pulse. But if they're not breathing or they're not breathing deep or agonal breaths, sometimes uh -huh. they have kind of like twitching seizure-like movements. That's are all signs of cardiac arrest. So what you want to do is press hard and fast on the center of the chest. Okay. So for adults, palm in the center of the chest. All right. Other hand on top of it, and you want to get up and over them. Usually okay. they're on the ground. The table's making it a little bit difficult, yeah, but you okay. never know. Okay. So press hard and fast. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What six, if I'm pressing seven, too hard? Eight. How do I know? You're not going to be pressing. You want to press at least two inches down. What? Okay. Yes, you want to press wow. pretty hard. What if I break their bones? They're already dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. Okay. <laughs> you're only helping from okay, there. Okay, got you. No, okay, okay. You're okay. only helping All right. from there. So two inches down. Two inches down for adults. And then for adults, for kids then, what are we doing? Yes, so for kids, there are some slight nuances. If you want to learn those differences, you could definitely get a go to American Heart Association class, yeah. okay. talk to your local fire department. They could help you with those nuances for adults versus child versus infant but basically similar pressing fast hard in the center of chest 100 and 120 yeah. and how many I heard you counting too how many are we doing you just so keep, for hands only you just keep you just going because you, you see people like Before. tap out right yeah. where they're like okay somebody else because it's a lot of work it's hard it is exhausting yeah. so definitely if you are by yourself and someone comes up to you grab them and be like hey watch what I'm doing jump in please help and me. are you supposed to keep going till help arrives yes that's keep the going. idea okay yeah. keep but going. I'm terrified I've not got them and the, everyone's chest is a different size like how do I know I'm in the right spot. Yes, so it's definitely best to expose to make sure you're in the right place. Yeah. So okay. a lot of times near the AED, sometimes in the bag or sometimes outside of the bag, oh. there is tools in there like scissors oh. and stuff like that because gotcha. winter is coming and maybe wearing a winter coat. You never know. Okay, so right. then a lot of schools now have these devices. Yes. And a that's part of what Project Adam is trying to do, get these in more schools as well. Yes, so yes. schools have them, but do they have all the other things in place? Are they dotting their I's? Are they crossing mm -hmm. their T's? Do they have a plan in place? Do they have team members that know and feel comfortable how to use AED, and are they practicing? So mm -hmm. they have tornado, tornado drills, fire wow. drills, active shooter drills. Good point. Why not have cardiac arrest drills yeah. for schools? Yeah. Too? And so how would we, if I see this, if I see something happening, somebody's already doing the compressions on a child, yeah. I, somebody else runs to go get this. Exactly, yes. Okay. So have someone call 911, yeah. have someone start compressions, and someone go get the and AED. And is this pretty self-explanatory? Yes, it works okay. you It'll, right. It's okay. very <laughs> user-friendly, so I could demonstrate yeah, you. Yeah, so yeah. First thing you do, open it up, turn it on. It's okay. going to walk you through and tell you exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. Apply pads to patients' bare chest. Okay. So, so they make it very easy. They make it very easy. Connector. Sometimes Next they do have adult line. as well as pediatric pads as well too, okay. but we'll grab the adult ones here since we got the adult mannequin sure. here. And then okay. what you want to do is plug it in and there's a flashing light that shows you exactly okay. how to do it. 
And all the while, I'm still pumping. Yeah. Like, you guys exactly. are getting this Get ready. Right. You guys are getting ready. I'm pumping. Exactly. And then there's even pictures on the pads that show okay. you exactly okay. where they should go. Where they go, each one. Shock goodbye. Okay. Okay. And then oh, I got to so get right ahead of us. Side. Uh huh. Stay okay. Clear of and now I've got to get off of the patient. There you go. Right? Oh, okay. one up and one down. Yep. Shock now. All right. All right. So make sure I'm clear. You're clear. Everyone clear. Uh -huh. Hit the shock button. Delivered. Analyzing heart rhythm. Wow. And then as soon as it's done analyzing, up oh, now telling us to not to touch it again. But as soon as it's done, then wow. providing that shock, wow. then hands back on the chest. That and is wonderful. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Jacqueline, for keeping us abreast yes. of all of this because I know it always changes. To learn more about better preparing for a sudden cardiac arrest, head over to lurichildrens.org slash Project Adam. All the details are there and the intricacies, again, between baby, child, and adult. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.